What's up, YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug, and I'm back again with my Ninja Possible Cooker Pro. Today, for you guys, we're gonna make some easy slow cooker or crock pot three ingredient meatballs. This is super simple, two hours on high, should do it. Let's get to it. And obviously, this recipe will be fantastic for any game day situation or potluck or any situation where there's going to be a variety of foods this will be a great addition to the plate or I mean you could just have this just as finger food because you wanted it <laughs> and guys these are the frozen bag meatballs that I'm using um, I like this brand they didn't have a family size in it but you can use any you could use two bags or a family one family size and that will be fine where's the measurements there there you go 26 ounces two bags of 26 ounces and of course we got the smuckies I got the squeezable one this one was cheaper I think the, the jar was like three dollars and change and this was like slightly under three dollars so we only need a half a cup of jelly anyway so and we'll be using some sweet baby rays this is the main one. I have uh, about three bottles of small Baby Ray bottles like this that are unused. So I'm just going to combine them and use them today. But I've made this recipe before just using this as the barbecue sauce, the Hawaiian um, Sweet Baby Rays. Absolutely fantastic. It has that pineapple, hint of pineapple. And then with the grape jelly, it, if you've never tried it, I'm telling you, I never tried this until I got to North Carolina. And, well, I didn't try it. I tasted it. And I was like, what the heck is this? Because I've never had meatballs like this. And they told me what they put in it. And I I never thought I would have liked it. But I already ate it. So I knew I was in love with it. You got to try it. But use any barbecue sauce you want. But definitely, if you're out shopping to get barbecue sauce, I urge you, pick this up. You won't regret it. And I'll be finishing this one up, too. So this will give it a little kick. So we'll be doing like a, about, yeah, so we'll be doing like a cup and a half of barbecue sauce and a cup of jelly. So I'm going to pour this into a bowl. You don't have to do this, but I like to mix the jelly with the barbecue sauce to give it that all in one consistency. But you can dump it in there into your um, slow cooker or your possible cooker, whatever you're doing this in. doesn't matter, but I like to do it this way. It just, just has a better overall taste when you do it this way this is like the best way to get rid of unused barbecue sauce <laughs> and like I said a cup of jelly and we're gonna mix that up till it all looks like it's all one all right that's good enough so now we just want to add our meatballs and give it a good stir and this is why I like this brand because the meatballs are kind of bigger than like the Walmart brand for the same price. Alright, we're going to mix it all up. And we're not afraid to add our own little touches if we want. If you want to chop up some onions, like finely, and, and throw it in here, be my guest. Make it your style. Smelling good already, guys. I'm just going to mix it for about another... 45 seconds and then we'll transfer it into the possible cooker. All right guys, I'm ready to transfer All right, we got them in there All I'm gonna do is put my cover on And just to repeat it again guys You did not have to put the barbecue sauce and the grape jelly in a mixing bowl and mix it together It will make it taste slightly better, but it's something that you you do not have to do you could have just dumped it in you know, after you put the meatballs in and put the cover on and let it do its magic. Okay, just wanted to throw that out there. So let's get this on. All right, guys, so let's get this on here. So we turn it on. It's already on slow cook. It's already on high, which we want. Now, if you want to do low, you can do low. That would be four hours, but high would be only two hours. I don't know why you wouldn't choose high unless you just had time to kill, which it could be in, in certain cases. So we're going to go to time. Now, with this on high, it's only going to go down to three hours, but we have a trick with this machine. We're going to hit start, because after you hit start, it'll allow you to go down further. So now, 
because we hit start, we can go down to two hours. Isn't that cool? I learned that on my last cook. So yeah. So after two hours, guys, on this machine, and I'm sure as well as your crock pot or slow cooker, it will go to keep warm, which is perfect for serving because you could just leave it there and not touch it and you'll be ready to serve. All right. So I'll be back. I'll be back probably after take my oldest to get his hair cut and we will be leaving in an hour and a half. So we probably will be this will be in keep warm for at least a half an hour, which is fine. No worries. The house will be smelling absolutely fantastic and it'll be ready to serve nice and warm when we get back. All right, so I'll see you then. Oh, and by the way, just in case your crock pot or slow cooker can't go down to two hours on high, just make a mental note because usually most of them are like three hours or four hours is the, um, the lowest time that it will go for high. Just make a mental note. Like if it's four hours, you know at two hours it's done. So that's what you're just going to have to do. I just turned on my dishwasher. That's the noise you hear. But before I forget, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. For those that don't know this machine, this is, again, this is not just any slow cooker or crock pot. I call this a slow cooker on steroids. But first things first, this is a cast iron Dutch oven. So that's definitely unique to any other slow cooker. Well, at least 99% of them. I know Instant Pot makes one. But this also can sear and saute. So in other words, I could sear a steak in there. It gets that hot. I could fry an egg, make a pancake whatever have you, like a frying pan. I can proof, I can bake, I can braise, I can steam, of course keep warm and slow cook, and I can sous vide. A lot of you don't know what that is, but it can sous vide as well. Just, just FYI. And it'll also come with this spoon tool. It's got that on the sides. And also, it fits on the top. How cool is that? All right, guys, now I'm really gone. I won't be back until it's done. <laughs> All right, guys, so I'm just getting back in, and as you can see, it's at keep warm. It's uh, showing 42 minutes, so it's been 42 minutes so far on keep warm. So let's see what we're working with anyway. All right, guys, let's open it up. It is smelling fantastic in here. Oh, man, look at that give you a closer look would you look at that guys wish you guys could smell it but this could be you shout out to my viewers and subscribers that hit the like button way before my videos even finished I appreciate that you saw the paper towel go up that means it's time to eat. And sorry guys, I don't have a dinner um, with these in it. Uh, I usually prepare a dinner or a lunch or some type of meal uh, with whatever I'm cooking. But this is for really for the Super Bowl tomorrow. And I would have made them tomorrow, but I figured I'd do it today so some of you can run out and get the ingredients before um, the Super Bowl tomorrow and just easily prepare it. All right, but without further ado, let's have a try. You first, as always. You got it? All right. Oh, yeah. Perfect. You have the, a little hint of that pineapple. The sweet baby weight barbecue sauce. You got a little bit of heat from the spicy. Um barbecue sauce that we we added in there it's perfect the jelly it gives it that different that grape jelly gives it a, a different type of sweetness guys you gotta try it with the grape jelly I'm telling you and I and I said it wrong in the in the beginning it's one cup of barbecue sauce and one cup of jelly I think I said a cup and a half of barbecue sauce is one cup mmm and I promise you, when you serve these, they're just going to eat them up. It's going to be gone. It's just too good. One more bite. 
You got it? Mm. It's crazy how something so simple could be so good. Like I said, guys, you got to try it. It's such a simple recipe. Easy peasy. Of course, I'll leave in the description everything I did. And, of course, I'll leave in the description um, the link to this Ninja Possible Pro cooker. Like I call it, a slow cooker on steroids. It could do so much more than your regular crock pot or slow cooker. Definitely give it a look. See all what it can do. I think it's on sale right now, so definitely is a great time to pick it up, for sure. And before I get out of here, I might as well give you my Super Bowl pick for tomorrow. I got the Eagles beating Kansas City. I just think, I th well, first of all, it's going to be a, it should be a heck of a game. It should be very close. It should be. And if it's a blowout, I have the Eagles blowing them out because I think they're going to put pressure on Mahomes and... I just think they're just going to get the Eagles are just going to edge, edge them out, I, I believe. But I could be wrong. But that's what I was, I just think overall the Eagles are just a better team than Kansas City on both sides of the field, defense and offense. But that's, that's just my take. But anyway, hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for just even looking at my video. It's Cooking with Doug. I'm out.